The expectation this entire offseason was that Justin Houston was going to be back for the Baltimore Ravens. So them signing him comes as no surprise. But the way that it was done, contrary to what they did just a few weeks ago, that's a tiny bit of a shocker. But when you find out that they only got, what, $3.2 million cap space, they got to get a little creative. But anyway, uh, YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Justin Houston is officially back for the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens are signing him to a one-year deal. And with him being signed to a one-year deal, that does alleviate some pressure off of the Ravens and off of some of their players, their pass rushes specifically, that are dealing with Achilles injuries. One being Tyus Bowser, who suffered his Achilles injury in week 18, in the, the last game of the year against the Steelers. He suffered an Achilles injury. Um, and then, of course, David Ajabo, uh, who is dealing with his Achilles injury that he got in springtime doing workouts pre-draft. Um, so with Tyus Bowser, it's expected, I think, that he's back by week one, but it's not a certainty. So we always say. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And this is the Ravens making sure they stay ready. Now, um, what this deal does, uh, it does sort of create that, that pathway uh, for the Ravens to usher in a new generation of their pass rushers next year. It allows them to be full go on their young guys next year. Because, yeah, right now you got a Justin Houston um, but with it being a one-year deal, you got Tyus Bowser who can recover, Ajabo who can recover, uh, another year for Adafe away, uh, another year for Dalen Hayes, and another year for anybody else who may step up as an outside linebacker slash defensive end slash edge guy slash pass rusher slash. Um, but this year, Justin Houston, something that Jeff Zrebic mentioned is that the, the Ravens like uh, how he worked with their young edge rushes so with this deal the Ravens are not just paying for a player uh they're paying for a coach as well and although it is not it is not Justin Houston's job to coach the young pass rushers at all he does not have to do it it's not his obligation it's not in his contract well maybe Ravens might have put it in his contract but it's not in his contract most likely the fact that he took the initiative and takes the initiative to teach the young guys, that speaks a lot to his character, uh, and that allows them to have another character guy in the room, in the building, on the team. And you need that. You need that. You need that veteran presence. You need those leaders. You need guys that can be relied upon, not just on the field, but off the field too. Because people don't just deal with stuff on the field, as we know. People are going through all type of stuff off the field too. And a coach... They can teach you something, and they can be telling you all the right things to do, but sometimes some stuff just might not click. It might not click. So being able to be taught all that same stuff, but from an actual player, oh, yeah, that, that can hit a lot different than when it's coming from a coach. Anyway, Justin Houston, uh, Jeff Zrebic mentioned he did have four and a half sacks uh, for the Ravens last year. Um, in 15 games. Now, one of the games I think he missed due to COVID. And the other one, it might have also been COVID. I don't even remember. Um, but, so he didn't, he ain't come out here and just all oh, absolutely destroy it in sacks. And while sacks are not overrated at all, <laughs> they are not. Um, sacks weren't everything that he did. He was also really good against the run. Justin Houston did a very good job against the run. And again, this move... Just it, it, it gives you stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. It gives you that satisfaction knowing, all right, all right, okay, we got some injured guys, okay. But week one's coming up, and it's coming up faster than you know it, man. Today is July 7th. Uh, training camp, getting ready to start in a couple of weeks, and I think about three weeks, two weeks and change. Um, so things will be moving before you know it. And Ravens right now are very thin uh, at pass rush. Now, something that I was getting into earlier, uh, the Ravens, the way that they did this deal, we don't know the, the terms of the deal yet, but it is a one-year deal. Now, the Ravens, they did that crazy, 
unrestricted free agent tender that they placed on Justin Houston. And, and I told y'all this was something, I don't know if some of y'all had heard about it before, but this was something that I had never, ever heard of before, ever. An unrestricted free agent tender. I heard of restricted free agent tenders all day. And we knew how they worked, but we had never heard of unrestricted free agent tender. And the way that it worked was that the Ravens, boom, they placed a tender on it. So that means, hey, you, you either sign with the Ravens, if somebody else makes an offer, you can sign with them, but the Ravens will get some type of compensation in the form of draft picks. Um, so he would either, and, and he had the option to either sign with the Ravens uh, by, I think the date was like July 22nd. It's, it's like right when training camp starts or like a couple days before training camp starts. Um, and if he hadn't signed with anybody else by then, by then, excuse me, then he would just be a Raven. If nobody offered him a deal that was more than what the Ravens were offering him on that tender, then he would just come back to the Ravens. So now I believe since they're signing him to a one-year deal, I, I wonder if they may have rescinded the tender because, again, the tender was supposed to go back. It was supposed to go until, like, again, the end of July, right before training camp. But I wonder if he re, if they rescinded the tender, they were like just like you know what, scratch that. Let's just let's just do a deal. Let's just get this thing done because time is a ticking. Uh, training camp is looming; it's getting closer and closer, and we do not want to even get close to training camp and have that uncertainty just looming over us. Like, oh man, uh, what are we gonna do at pass rush? I, I just don't know. Oh uh, yeah, we got some of our guys, but so a lot of them are injured, and significant guys are injured. I just we, we just don't know what we're gonna do. You don't want to go into training camp with those thoughts. You don't want to go into training camp thinking that. So it's best to make sure you are overprepared uh, rather than under because it can make a very, very big difference. Another thing that I wonder about is if with the whole tender, because you know how if a tender is issued to a player like an exclusive rights free agent uh, or restricted uh, free agent tender, um, those tenders, they can go into effect when the player signs the tender. I wonder if this is Justin Houston signing the tender. I don't think it is, but I wonder if it is. But I, I, I don't think it is. Well, whatever it is, it don't even matter. Justin Houston is on a one-year deal back to the Ravens. This does not mean that the Ravens should stop at the pass rush position. Um, this does not mean that they are done at the pass rush position. You do have some guys there. Again, Justin Houston, Bowser, Adafi away. Um, I was just talking, Dalen Hayes. So you, you got some guys there now. So it, it, it's nice. Um, so we'll see. We, we'll see. But this is a good move. This is a, a solid move. This ain't like, oh, man, yo, yeah, Ravens going all the way now. But this move does help them. It does not hurt them whatsoever this move certainly does help and even though it was expected to happen it's nice when your expectations are finally met because you could ex be, be expecting one thing and then you get hit with a swerve in life and it's like oh boy oh man oh goodness here we go but when you expect one thing and that's exactly what you get like if you go to a restaurant and you make it order you know what? I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Cheesecake Factory, and I'm ordering the the chicken teriyaki with white rice, and I'm gonna have a strawberry lemonade as my drink. If your waiter comes out and they bring you orange chicken with brown rice and a diet coke, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, that that's not what I was expecting. So that's gonna throw you off, and it can kill your whole vibe. Even if they come back with the right food after that, but if you go there. And you get exactly what you ordered and you get exactly what you expected, then it'll be like, ah, this is nice. This is great. And you know what's even better than when you expect something? Is when you get more than what you hope for. The other day, um, and we about to get out of here after this. The other day, uh, I needed to get a battery for our car. Need to get a battery. Um, so I had called up the dealership. I was like, hey, I need a battery. And they told me, they were like, all right, cool. And I was like, hey, is it in warranty? They were like, yeah, it's in warranty. Last time you got a battery was Lamar Jackson's MVP year. No, they didn't say it like that. They just said 2019. They were like, it's in warranty, but 
you would pay half, we pay half, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, how much? They said, okay, it'll be $140 plus tax. I said, all right, cool. And that's for them to put in the battery, to replace it, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, cool. Took the car to the dealership. They went, dropped it off. They did everything, replaced the battery, blah, blah, blah. I came back to pick up the car from the dealership. I said, how much? She said, oh, okay, it's going to be uh, $121. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, and that was after tax. So I'm like, oh, okay, I, I like that because my expectation was set that, all right, it's going to be 140 All right, no problem, cool, that's fine. But then when I came to pay and it ended up being 121 and that was after tax, after everything, I was like, oh, wow, my expectations were surpassed. So it was even better. So with Justin Houston, this, these, these are our expectations being met, but hopefully this year with the Ravens, not even just as, a, as pass rushers, but with the Ravens as a whole, uh, our expectations with them as a team uh, can be surpassed. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.